Then we can move on to uh, something else on the agenda. Renfrew, Nip, Nip, Renfrew, Nipissing, Pembroke. The fact that one of my colleagues uh, in the block would have to ask uh, why uh, we even need to continue demanding these documents is uh, gives gives pause to let me explain further uh, the SNC Lavalin situation. Uh, so. Um, the uh, former Attorney General was not of the opinion that SNC-Lavalin met the criteria in the provisions added to the Criminal po Code just months before, but the Prime Minister sent his most trusted advisor and his clerk of the Privy Council to make it clear to the Minister that she had better obey or else. Minister Wilson-Raybould had more credibility than anyone in the PMO, and she didn't budge. For that reason, she was shuffled into Veterans Affairs, opening the position of Attorney General to David Lametti, who didn't have the same moral compass as Ms. Wilson-Raybould. He was just as happy to be in Cabinet. So he signed whatever paper the Prime Minister put in front of him. With, when this scandal became public, the Prime Minister claimed what is in the Globe and Mail is false. Of course it wasn't false. The Prime Minister lied and his uh, office tried to ruin the reputation of Ms. wilson Rebold in the media. Uh, fair point of order. I can imagine what it's going to be. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, as you know, uh, using the word lie is uh, unparliamentary and she should have been possibly edited out of her uh, speech. I'd like to ask the Honourable Member from Renfrew, Nipissing, Pembroke to please uh, withdraw that. Yes, uh, I, I withdraw words. that word. Thank you for pointing that out, my, my uh, biggest fan in the Liberal government. Uh, so uh, to, to finish up with my colleague from the Bloc, uh, I think it's important that we drive the message home, making sure every Canadian who has tuned into Parliament or not hears from wor by word of mouth how corrupt this government is, and that we don't let another piece of business go until this has been addressed properly. And the only way to address it overall, so everyone has a say, is to have a carbon tax election now. Questions and comments. Let's call finance. Mr. Speaker, and the Honourable Member for Renford, Nipissing, Pembroke, may be surprised, I think, that the chronology of events as she describes them is accurate, but with one exception. And I, as someone who is in the Green Party, not part, although the word green gets thrown around as if we have something to do with this, obviously not. Uh, no, no word of dispute from me as to the chronology, except for this, that we don't know that the people who were put on that board had any connection to any political party at all. In fact, the chair of the board, who egregiously violated conflict of interest standards, was an advisor to Jim Flaherty, much admired former Minister of Finance under Stephen Harper, to Stephen Harper himself. In other words, like many people in business in Canada, uh, this person seems to have made sure that they had favours with many different parties and weren't associated with anyone in particular. The Honourable Member from Renfrew.